Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Snakewood. So in the last episode we caught an Aerodactyl. But not just any Aerodactyl. A shiny Aerodactyl. I'm pretty sure that's meant to be in the game, but hey, we named him Like, which is what you should do. And we need to head up here to the monastery. But I think we have to go the entire way around, don't we? Unless there's a sneaky way up. Oh, there is actually a full way up. Okay. So now what can we do? Young warrior, I got the path so that no one may enter or exit the monastery without us knowing. Oh, we could just go past now. Nice one. So there is a cave type thing. Ah, oh, and there's a heel. Okay. I mean, I don't think we needed it, but... Hey! Oh yeah, we also leveled up everyone else. I forgot to mention before. So everyone's around about the same level. That Aerodactyl being level 40, when we encountered it, kind of made me worried. I thought, might as well just off-camera bump everyone up. So, yeah, we did that. Beltoy, I'm pretty sure is one-off evolving, and Jeff and Hombone and Dragonite 2 might be as well. So... I don't want to level them up too much and then get an off-camera evolution and then have to go back and grind all over again. But hey, let's just carry on and see whether they level up or not. Oh, so we've got the Team Magma music. Same as usual. you got some combat here. What's in here? I should have read that sign. Absolutely nothing. All right. It is meant to be the dining hall. Little zigzagoon. Hurrah. And that's it. Rock blast them all. Okay, so I guess we're going further up. Oh no. We have to fight all of these guys again. As if you never beat me. Here's Mikov. Oh, at least they don't have the really awkward uh, intros again this time. But I... I still don't know about the sprite. Oh, and they have... Okay, they had three Pokemon this time. So that means eventually we're going to have to go through like nine of them. Having a full six. Let's see what a Draco Fury does. Almost half. I can take that. We avoided the Stun Spore. I feel like Draco Fury is the only thing we can do in this situation. Because if we bite, we might just get a Spore anyway. Ah, but... It's a bit late for that now. But another bite takes you out. Okay, so you don't have a flying move, which I could have sworn you did. But I guess we just ancient power Omni Boost. <laughs> Hell yeah. It is over for you before it even started. Ooh. Okay. So I'm glad we started leveling up, because level 38 for the first of the Deadly Seven is not great. But two ancient powers, and we good. First one down. I can see why they put this here. Because they are going to paralyze absolutely everything. Okay, so everyone's battling along here, so I guess the only way to go is here. I know who you are. Please don't say anything stupid. Onions, pears, gasoline. What's the answer to my riddle? Find out after the battle. In the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Anyone else think that? Probably just me. Two Pokemon. On eggs. Meet Gyarados. You're gonna die. Like you're really gonna die. One Surf. Super effective. And he's down. Hell yeah. And the Steelix. Okay. I feel like another Surf is just going to do the job. Your defense is way higher, but... <laughs> Gyarados' attack is even higher. Heh, I'll tell you the answer. Go for it. The answer is helium and lots of it too. You are so not funny. No, you're not. Hello. Oh, Killian, it's you. It is I, Sage Izumi. I came here to fight with you. And thanks for your help in the desert. Go on, I'll hold them off. Oh, this really... This really is just another onslaught. 
gonna 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 gunk off. Here I am, folks. It's time to rumble with the gunk meister. <laughs> you changed your personality again? So I can't remember what was super effective against you, but I think a surf is probably safe. And then if you've got two Pokemon again, then maybe we see the evolution of Kinchira? We can one hit with this Earth, not even super effective. Jeez. No, you just got two at slightly different levels. Skullbreaker, there's absolutely nothing. Okay. The Earth is flat, but only in so far as I am a perfect sphere. What? I can't spell words well. How did you manage that? <laughs> I'd love to know the thought process when the developers were going through this and thought, how about we make seven, but nine, and all of them unbelievably annoying. <laughs> okay, Baltoy leveled up and Cosmic Power, which might, do we have to learn Cosmic Power? So that we can evolve? What Pokemon does that? Am I making something up? I probably am. So we go Trap Inch, Trap Inch, Vibrava, which might mean eventually this guy has Trap Inch, Vibrava, Flygon. I mean, that just makes sense to me. But thank God they don't heal when they go into red, or I'd kill myself. Oh! We get the Baltoy Evolution. Finally! Our starter evolves into, well, you don't really need an explanation, do you? He evolves into Claydol. Congratulations, your Balto evolved into Clay. I am Robotnov, the 19th of the Deadly Seven. We've met and you're the fifth. We've covered this before. Our character has a really good memory. Really? Okay, then. I am the 19th, 90th version of the Deadly Seven. Why do you inflict this torture on me? It's a very good question. Ah, the weird Golbat sprite is back. So we must kill. Okay, that didn't do anywhere near as much as I thought it was going to do. Let's try out the new move, Storm Surge. Okay, never mind, meet yourself. Nah, that's fine. Pfft. How about now? Yes! Oh, it's basically Hydro Pump. Uh, you should not be able to withstand that. It's a Gyarados. Snapped out of Confusion, Draco Fury, finish him off. Right? Yes, okay. Boom! Couple of Ancient Powers on all these Golbats. Obviously does the trick. Look at that. Oh, it's a crit. Okay. It makes sense. And we get the Omni Boost on the last one. Come on! I am out of lemonade. No. These guys are confusing. Aha. Right. Who needs healing? You probably need one. And Humbone can do with one as well. And then. Famine. Chloe, give up, demon. Go back to where you came from or I'll destroy you. Foo 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 foo. What an amusing thought. You think you can destroy me? Let me show you. What are you doing here? A civilian? Get back. This is an extremely dangerous situation. Demon, I won't let you take innocent lives. Prepare to be cast to the abyss. Hey! Pathetic. And here I was thinking that you might prove an interesting opponent. You Taoists are all nothing to me. You defeated Alicia, even weakened as you were by my crippling sandstorms. You are a formidable foe. I shall fight you when I am better prepared. Oh, come on. Ugh, I'm okay, I think. Hmm, aren't you the kid who's been messing with our people? Along with Gleese? Yes, you're the bad guys. Gleese and I are the good guys. That is how it works. What? Gleese is the bad guy here. Don't you know what he's up to? He's fighting the four horsemen and their zombie legions, right? True, but not for the reasons you think. He's serving another master. A darker master, even than the horsemen, and their ally Meteor. That master is also launching an invasion of Hoenn in the east, and Gleese 
is the spy sent to destroy the Western forces from within. That's crazy. You have to believe me. A strong trainer like you, we need your help. Before you arrived, that demon said something about him being angry that his sister had been defeated. That was you, wasn't it? Yeah, I defeated Pestilence. You see, no one else in this region could have done that. We need your strength. I don't know. Gleese has helped me so much. Has he? What has he actually done? It's true, he hasn't actually given me any aid. And come to think of it, he lied when he told me I would find answers in New Morville. I guess you're right. Really? Fantastic. <laughs> I'm so glad you realized that. Look, I have to go, but I would appreciate it if you would drop by my house later. Isn't that the Inquisition base? Oh no, the base you invaded was our secondary base. I live in our main base north of here, in Falabar Town. Well, see ya. Falabar Town, gotta remember that. Oh, thank you so much for your help. Demons and those odd government people have left. On behalf of the Sangha, I declare you a pure soul. If you so choose, you may now ent enter the sacred Shakyamuni Tower. Well, farewell. So is that what was in the uh, in the town we were at in the last episode? So are there people in here now? No, there's still no one here. That's kind of weird. But we can go down here. A bone achingly cold gale blasts from between the gates. I don't think I can go any further this way. Huh. Okay. So I guess we go back through here then? How's about before we go to Falabar Town? Let's try this out then. Okay, so there's no ooh spirits type thing. Oh, and this is the opening music. What the hell? Da -da 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 -da. Still slaps. And we have to fight you guys. Okay. Shall we then? We shall. Okay. So it seems like these guys are just going to be endless battle toys the entire way up. Probably. And then whoever's at the top maybe has some Claydol. But if that's the case, let's get Dragonite to some levels. We gotta see eventually what he evolves into. We need that dragon. Dragon normal, but a dragon nonetheless. And a one-hit surf. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, he does need some levels. God damn. Okay, so it looks very linear. And then just endless people to fight. Prepare yourself to be clear-minded. Why? Is it because you've got loads of arms? It feels like that. Claydol? That is a low-level Claydol. What's your secret? So one headbutt and one surf? No, God, his defense is so high. And that hurts as well. Get the flinch? No, because he's calm-minded. That's just slow and painful. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> That's you down. Up and at him to the next one. Your mind is indeed clear. It is not at all, I can promise you that. Oh, you got a sixth sense. So we're not going to be able to escape any of these. That's... That's fine, it's some easy levels. So far, at least. Aha, Grumpy. So they're all just psychic. Right, so I don't have any revives, so I'm going to use one of the Rage Candy Bars and Dragonite. Thank God that isn't the re that isn't gonna like evolve him or anything. Oh, we have one of them. I completely forgot what these things did. God damn it! We just wasted a <laughs> we wasted a decent level up. Oh God, it's gone very silent all of a sudden. Maybe the tape isn't meant to play the entire way through, but yeah, it's this weird like eerie quietness. Do we? Oh, we drop down in these. 
Ah, oh, and then you're gonna sense us? No? You're just gonna fight us here? Okay. You are pure. How wonderful. Yeah, it kinda saved the world a couple times, mate. Pretty, uh, pretty pure of heart if I don't say so myself. Right, redemption time for Dragonite 2. He's gonna sweep all of these guys. Never mind. Oh my god, no you didn't. How do we withstand that? I'm impressed. God damn it. Humbone and Dragonite 2 cannot catch a break. They just always get ruined. And watch, this is going to hit first time, isn't it? No, I'm pleasantly surprised. And that's a one hit. Crit, don't care. It's a one hit. Let's go. Wait, what? You're getting close now. Soon you will meet our elder. But first... Battle! God, they're all the same. This one's level 31. So maybe we can hit you with the one hit. For once. Please. No! <laughs> God damn it. Don't self-destruct. Thank you. Okay. Kadabra. You're switching it up. I like that. But we still outspeed. And we headbutt. Do we get the flinch? No, we just hit him one time. Let's go. Ah, ha ha, go on through to the Elder. Oh, that was quite quick and easy. I am pleasantly surprised. And the music's back. Okay. And we are here. Hello. Ah, oh, greetings, Killian. Once again. Allow me to thank you for helping us with our problems. No, it's fine. Just doing my job. By the way, you haven't heard anything about my brother, the Pokemon Champion, have you? I heard he was last seen in the desert area. Landon? Yes! He found the Aerodactyl in the desert. He tried to catch it for us, but only managed to weaken it. I should think that that is why you were able to defeat it. I've surpassed my brother. Do you know where he went? I believe he went to the east to get back to Evergrande and to try to get the help of the Elite Four. Ah, thank you. One more question. What is with those arms I can see behind you? Oh, you can see them? You must have the second sight. Those arms are my psychic power. They are invisible to most people. Now I believe I promised you a battle. If you win, I shall make a gift to you. You're on. Right. What have you got in the bag? Two Pokemon. Wobbuffet. Not what I was expecting. But I'm scared of a counter. That's the one thing Wobbuffet is insanely good for. But we get the flinch. Let's just keep headbutting. Keep trying to get the flinches. That's a crit. Thank you. Destiny Bond. Hmm. Oh, so you're just going to keep on using Destiny Bond? <sighs> Alright. Bye, Dragonite 2. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Wait, what? Celebi? You just have Celebi? Oh, I hit Fury Swipes accidentally. What does this do? Can we get the 5 hit? No, we only get 2. Against a Legendary. And you're just gonna spam heals, aren't you? Oh, we get the flinch, though. Another one. Future Sight. Well, if you don't heal, that's it. Great. Congratulations. You have a legendary and you don't know how to use it at all. And we win. You are indeed worthy. Thank you. I'll take the Celebi if it's going. Oh, and Hombone's evolving. It's as if I'm saying it spoke it into existence. Hell yeah. What do you become? Okay, you don't look like you get much larger. Hmm. 
Yeah, you... Hombone evolved into Hombeast. That's really... That's really underwhelming. You have defeated even my Celebi, the Pokemon of time. You are mighty indeed. Take this as your reward. A yellow Vespa. That was a gift to the monastery from gym leader Haruko. She has a lot of them. Apparently they can go very fast. Fast enough to scale mudslides. Okay. So that's how we get above the mudslide that was by the chefs. That makes so much sense. Well, that is going to do it for this episode. That was an interesting little, uh, little episode, if I don't say so myself. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please remember to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what series you want to see next. Also, check out Pokemon Unbound, which we have just completed. So I am waiting for another series. Any suggestions? Or... Yeah, actually, that's it. <laughs> Any suggestions? It'll be Pokemon Snakewood for the foreseeable future until maybe I see something I like or another Pokemon rum hack. But anyways, thank you guys once again for watching and peace.